started to study feng shui, you told me, because you were in real estate yes. and you uh -huh. wanted to understand why energies... I wanted, I had a lot of Asian clients and even though I found them a house that looked perfect according to the criteria they gave me, they still didn't purchase the house. Mm -hmm. I couldn't understand why that was happening. And I started to study feng shui before it was popular. Mm -hmm. There were only two books written about feng shui. And when I started to study, it didn't make any sense to mm -hmm. me. I was extremely skeptical, but I was interested. And so I went home and I changed my house. Uh, my teacher had said to wait until my studies were done, but I'm a very impatient person. Mm -hmm. And so I changed my house and within two weeks my husband lost his job. Wow. Um, because That's I had fiddled. I, I didn't intend that, no. <laughs> that could, uh, so there could be that negative yes, side of feng shui. absolutely. Oh, you have to kind of know you, what you're you doing. You do. Oh. And um, I asked my teacher if she would help me to correct the situation. At least get your husband a job. <laughs> and she said no, because I didn't listen. Oh. And you know in the Asian culture, respect is very, very important. Oh. So I had, and everything just kept getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> and so I had to learn for myself. And the way that you learn for yourself, the way we all learn is through meditation. Oh. So I developed a daily practice of meditation. Mm. And in meditation, I was given the answers of what I needed to do. Mm. And to adjust your house. To adjust my so house. So your meditation became a, a vision for your feng shui work. I yes. Mean, that's how you learned about feng that's shui. That's how I learned about feng shui. Interesting. And then, of course, when you're ready, your teacher appears. Okay. So I was very fortunate to uh, have Professor Lin Yun, who mm -hmm. recently passed away, um, be my greatest teacher, as well as his senior students mm. at the Open Center. Right. Um, but how did you take what you learned from feng shui and put that into jewelry? The bracelet. Yes, mm -hmm. the bracelet. Um, well, there's a few things. People will pay for jewelry and they won't pay for a feng shui. Mm -hmm. So I would meet people and they would say, uh, I can't afford a feng shui, but they could afford a bracelet. Now, mm -hmm. I had already created bracelets for myself. Mm -hmm. I was wearing them. Why? Because in feng shui, we learn that people are a basic element, as you know, because you, yes, you, study. you studied study. acupuncture. That's right. So you could be metal, earth, fire, wood, or water. Yes. So when I analyzed my home, I had two young daughters and my husband, and I got along with each one of them, but there was a lot of um, disruption in the house. Right. So I looked and I said, my husband is yang fire, which is a strong fire, mm -hmm. and we all get out of balance. And when we all, when we get out of balance, that's when that element rears its head. Mm -hmm. So just think about fire: bad temper, yelling, mm -hmm. screaming. Mm -hmm. My younger daughter's wood, her wood fuels the fire, made him crazy, and he would yell. My older daughter is earth, and so she absorbed the fire mm -hmm. and smoothed things over, and she took a lot of the hit in the house for absorbing what was going on. Right. So. And I'm a yin fire, uh -huh. and a yin fire is a small fire, and so the solution to calm that yang fire was water. So with water, we can either put the element actually of water through water fountains and fish tanks in, mm -hmm. we can use statues of fish and shells, and we can use the color black, and we can use things that are free form. And so I put water in the house, it calmed my husband's fire, and it fed my daughter's wood. Mm. And all was well in the house except for my fire, which went out. Right. So, but getting back to the bracelet, well, how did you correct the fire that went out? I put it on me. Oh, you I said, oh, one of the great adjustments we use in feng shui in a house is crystal. Oh. So, I can't use the crystal in the house for me. The house is adjusted for them. Mm. I'm going to put the crystal on me. And that was your individual feng shui yes. remedy. Yes, huh. that was my remedy and then, for me, and it worked. What worked? What happened? I changed my life. How? I got my fire back. Well, uh, the element of wood is represented by green, so I immediately started to wear green crystal bracelets, uh -huh. which uh, the, fi the wood fed my fire, uh -huh. and I came back to life. 